How's everybody doing? All right, so uh, first off, I'd like to thank the city of Dallas and Lowe's for hosting this event. It's been phenomenal a couple of days. Uh, and also, while we're in Texas, I'd like to send some thoughts and prayers out to the victims of Hurricane Burrow that just came rolling through uh, Houston. Um, I actually have a home in Houston that felt the effects of that, and I saw the actual people who were uh, struggling from that event. So again, thoughts and prayers to the people who are still struggling um, with the aftermath of Hurricane Burrow. Uh, I'd like to congratulate um, our new commissioner, Tim Pernetti, and uh, thank him for his leadership. I think we all can feel the energy and passion that he's going to bring to the American. Uh, very innovative in his thought process and uh, always forward thinking. He's going to challenge us as coaches, challenge our administration to support uh, the standards of the American Conference. And I'm looking forward uh, to working with Tim in that leadership, along with Jamie Hickson, who's uh, been a, a phenomenal uh, sounding board for us uh, as a football conference and uh, also a good representative and a, a great person to to connect and, and, and get information from at any given time. So again, I appreciate Jamie for his availability, uh, always available for, for us. And thank you so much for that. All right. As we work together, all right, um, it is necessary for us to make the adjustments um, that makes the most sense for our conference. And uh, I will entrust in our, our new president, uh, John Fry, and our vice president, A.D., um, Arthur Johnson, uh, and making sure that we connect the dots to stay to the standard of what the American Conference is asking of us. And uh, we are just very grateful for the new leadership uh, that we have in our new president, and we're looking forward to bridging the gaps uh, between our administration, our, our athletic department, as well as uh, with the American Conference and their new leadership as well. Okay, I'm excited about the American. And, you know, this conference just keeps getting stronger and stronger with Army joining this conference. Uh, we have a, a classic rivalry uh, that's going to be um, representing the American Conference and uh, just excited and uh, I congratulate uh, that whole entire program for entering a conference and making us that much stronger. I wish you guys the best until you play us obviously, but I do wish you guys all the best. Um, Tipple football. Uh, I'm excited about this football team. You know, I know we've embarked on a couple of tough years, um, but I am excited about this football team. You know, as we embark on this this landscape that we're in, and you hear a lot of the, the horror stories that we, we have to endure as coaches from time to time, but you know, uh, there is some positive that comes out of this. We were able to, uh, this off season, put together a roster that uh, enhanced our football team across the board in all positions. And uh, I don't know if you would have been, we would have been able to do that at the level that we did it without the transfer portal, to be quite honest with you. So that, that has benefited us. I know, again, there are some horror stories that come along with it. Uh, I am proud of, of, of the support that I am receiving from Temple uh, and Arthur Johnson, understanding this landscape and navigating through it and understanding uh, that uh, there's going to be times where we have to be creative here at Temple. Um, and, uh, and, and he's, he's diligently working and thinking through the proper, uh, custom fit that we, we will operate through, uh, in this climate. So, uh, again, I'd like to thank him for his leadership. But again, excited about this football team. Uh, we were able to fill some voids. Uh, we had some major voids in the trenches last year, our defensive line, our offensive line. Uh, we've added some depth. Uh, we've gotten older. We've gotten bigger. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited about the the intent, all right, the intentional approach to the offseason by our players. Uh, they are of the mindset of changing the narrative, right? They're not looking for excuses. Again, when we talk in terms of what Temple Tough is, we're not trying to find excuses, you know, for, uh, you know, the past or anything like that. And we're also not looking through the rearview mirror. Uh, we are looking ahead. We're setting some standards that are really high. Uh, our football players are getting close together, and uh, we expect to do some really good things in terms of proving us right. You know, so we're not paying attention to the polls. We're not paying attention to anything like that. We're just paying attention to us and putting all our energy and focus on the things that we can control so that we can hold the standard of putting a good product on the football field to represent this American conference. Um, 
One story I like to tell, you know, uh, one of the most stressful times for me in the off season is vacation, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, you, you leave uh, for a couple days to try to just recenter yourself and you leave your football team and there's some time where they're by themselves and, you know, them and the strength coaches and they're working out and they're doing some player led stuff that way. And, um, you know, talk to a couple of players while I'm on vacation, trying to get some sleep, but I keep thinking about them. And, you know, there was a comment that I got from, you know, one of our football players who's here, Demeric Morris. And I said, well, how's it going? How are the boys going? You know, uh, I left them with the challenge before vacation that, all right, yes, we are a better football team, but uh, that means nothing if you guys uh, don't find a way to get to know each other, uh, to get to a point where we can play for one another. And so uh, this climate, this landscape will challenge relationships that way because you will be acclimating, as we did, large numbers uh, during the recruiting process, during these open portal windows. You know, so the challenge is this building that camaraderie. And uh, I called Derek and he says, uh, Demeric, and he says, you know, coach, we needed y'all to get the hell away from us. <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah, we're growing as a football team. Um, more and more because the coaches are away from us and it's really forcing us to be leaders and and hold each other accountable and we're starting to receive it better and all the other good stuff so i'm excited to get back to philly and and, and feel what our players are feeling right now and you know uh again we we're of the mindset of proving us right and it sounds like our players have have, have taken have taken that hook and sinker and i'm excited to go on that ride with them all right um uh, Obviously, we got a nice challenging schedule this year. Uh, we, our report day is July 29th. We open up with Oklahoma at Oklahoma. Uh, excited, a great opportunity to, to get some temple, some exposures. One of the first early games of the season, uh, on a Friday night. Um, so we're excited about that. We're excited about that opportunity. We know there's going to be a great environment and it's going to be a great opportunity to get a feel for what this team is really um, trying to embark on this year. So we will work our depth chart during the course of that game and, and, and we're there to, to try to be as competitive as we can in, in that situation. Right after that, we, uh, we play Navy. All right. We go, we go to Navy. So our first home game, our first two games are away. Uh, we go to Navy, and again, um, it's going to be another great atmosphere uh, that we're going to embrace. But again, our mindset is to take it one day at a time, one game at a time, and, and again, to prove us right uh, is, is going to be uh, our mantra. So leaving it at that, I will open myself up to any questions that you may have for me. If you have a question, please raise your hand for Coach. Uh, in the meantime, Coach, can you tell us about the two players that you brought with us? Yes, I have Demerrick Morris here, who's a, uh, a defensive tackle in his last season. And I have uh, Dante Wright, who's a slot receiver that we inherited from uh, Colorado State, who's also in his last season. Two phenomenal players that have taken on the leadership role and two Temple Tough guys that are helping me develop this program right now. Questions for Coach? No, to the far right. Um, hey, Coach. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm William Goodwin from the Frisco Bowl. Um, you were talking about the benefits of the transfer portal earlier, and I was just wondering what are the negatives, especially when you have players like EJ Warner who's transferring to an interconference opponent? Yeah, that's that's the negative to it, right? You know, is you know you don't want to lose players to the best of your ability. You want to keep them as much as you can, you know. But uh, this is the climate that we're in. We have to mystery and adjust and. You know, if, um, you know, at the end of the day, I want the best situation for every player. And if he felt that Temple was not the best situation for him, then he needs to go find a place that's going to better suit him. Right. And that goes for any player, not just talking about EJ. You know, we, we don't want to force people to be at Temple if they don't want to be at Temple. I don't want to coach that player. Right. I don't. So uh, we're going to lock in and focus all of our energy on the guys who want to be there. Um, and who embrace what Temple is all about, and, and we'll just go about business that way. But, yeah, it, it works both ways. You know, I've lost a couple of players, a couple of good players along the way, uh, EJ being one of them, you know, but uh, it gives somebody else another opportunity to come in, plug and play. Next question will be right here in the front and center. Hey, Coach, James Stackman, to you, White Wright, son. Uh, what do you have to do going into year three to kind of turn it around at Temple and have your first, you know, winning season with the Owls and, and take them to a bowl game? 
Yeah, I think we we need to first of all just with all the new um, personnel that we have in our program now, we we have to make sure that we customize our system to fit the skill set that we have now. We have to make sure we do a good job of that. Last year we struggled in the trenches. We had no depth at offensive line. We had no depth at D line. As a matter of fact, we got injury stricken really early during the course of the season. And uh, I challenge any coach to go practice when you uh, when you're you know you're six deep on the offensive line and you're four deep on the defensive line. And how do you practice and get better? Right? You know they were in green jerseys. I got to protect them and get them to the dance. You know so the development was at a halt last year in those two positions, which I don't know how you win football games if you don't have your trenches solidified, right? So that's something that we put a lot of attention and focus in on this offseason is making sure that we build a depth chart of quality football players. And the development piece has is, is been phenomenal thus far. One of the two top um, positions of development between the D line and the offensive line this offseason. So I think we solidify those positions is going to help us win some ball games. Other questions for Coach? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.